Cultural heritage is a patrimony of humanity. It's everyone's patrimony. So our goal as people working in the field of cultural heritage is to try and preserve this heritage as it is, or to return it as much as possible to a condition that is either original or that reflects the changes it's had over the course of time. The works of art that we restored are in several different rooms. The art needs to be taken care of in a scientific and technically appropriate way according to international guidelines for conservation. With any conservation project, the Office of Cultural Heritage prescribes certain type of diagnostic investigations. They help document the condition, so it helps understand where you have layers that are not original and evaluate if they shall be removed, how, how much. It helps understanding the artistic techniques, for example, the infrared. In some cases, it helps you see the preparatory drawing underneath the paint layer. La conservazione è un concetto di ampio respiro, vuol dire soprattutto rispetto, rispetto per la memoria, perché conservare, anche nel linguaggio corrente, si, si usa per dire conserviamo il ricordo di... Il ricordo non è soltanto nella nostra mente, i ricordi sono anche oggetti, cose materiali. E la conservazione non è tanto per noi, ma quanto per quelli che verranno dopo di noi. Credo che il fatto che il Consolato americano abbia seguito questa linea d'azione non può che essere valutato in modo assolutamente positivo. The conservation of our heritage, whether it dates to 500 years ago or to 50 years ago, is essential not only as part of the history of the city and of the country, but also as part of the cultural diplomacy carried out in these palaces. A stroke of both genius and good fortune, the United States government purchased Palazzo Cannavaro in 1947, right after the war, which you think about the role that the United States and the Allied forces played in liberating Italy and the Italian people from fascism during World War II. And my key job here in Italy as a diplomat is to build on the already strong ties that we have with the nation of Italy and the Italian people. Palazzo Cannavaro is a building that invites you in, that is both uniquely American, but also wholly Italian. The building is representative of a moment in the history of Florence, which is important. So we are in the 19th century when Italy was unified and Florence became for about six years the capital of the reign of Italy. The architect Giuseppe Poggi was tasked to transform Florence into a modern European capital. That was a huge task because Florence was still an ancient city at the time. This is the same architect who was tasked by the first owner of the building Manfredi Calcagnini Stenze, between 1857 and 1859, to create the building for his family. So inside and outside, the building tells the story of this moment when Florence became one of the most important cities in Italy. Palazzo Canevaro è stato realizzato a partire dalla metà dell'Ottocento in un'area con edifici che erano destinati all'alto borghesia e anche all'aristocrazia cittadina. Si sì, sono edifici che hanno una connotazione stilistica molto legata appunto al linguaggio rinascimentale fiorentino. Troviamo infatti colonne, troviamo archi, troviamo quegli elementi che costituiscono proprio il linguaggio della più alta tradizione rinascimentale fiorentina. We are in the Biblioteca Riccardiana one of the oldest libraries in Florence. 
the ceiling painting in this room by Luca Giordano in 1685 is identical to the one we have at the consulate. The room was also used as a library, so probably the Canevaro wanted to have a decoration that resembled one of the most important places in Florence dedicated to study and research. We're very fortunate to have an office like the Office of Cultural Heritage that helps us preserve and take care of some of the historic buildings that we have at the State Department. And they have done an amazing job on behalf of the American people to show that we are taking care of this building and to demonstrate to the Italian people that we, the United States government, are giving the respect and care to one of these important icons of Florence that it deserves.